Hello and welcome back to Specially Strange Self-Defense, where we give you ideas and advice for how to scare off your fellow bullying prey. Today's special guest is Mr. Harry Frog from South Africa. Let's give Mr. Frog a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. So today you're here to discuss with us your unique retractable claws. But before we get into that, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my real name is Trichobotrachus robustus, but most people call me Harry Frog. My heritage dates back to the taxon Anura found under Amphibia, which is under Quadrata and Animalia. I'm seen as different compared to many frogs. Exactly why you are here. Why don't you explain to us your uniqueness? Well, like I said, I'm pretty different. My claws are not real claws, you see. Mine pierce through the skin when they are needed, whereas species with real claws actually grow the spiny bone through the skin. I've been made fun of a lot by other frogs. Some of them said it makes me look like a cat. I try to explain to them that they are not true claws. This is because there is no outer coating of keratin surrounding the bone of the claw, which is present in real claws. I see. So how exactly does your defense work? Well, the claws are only on my hind feet. When I am threatened, I have a reaction where I break the bones in my own toes or metatarsals. The fracture creates a pointed and hooked bone with smaller free-floating bones at their tips. You see, the sharp tip of my claw is connected to the bone of my toe with a piece of cartilage. This whole structure is attached to a muscle. What I believe happens is the muscle contracts as a reaction to danger, which pulls my claw downward, causing them to pierce through the skin of my toe. Very interesting. Could you show us your claws? Sure. Wow. Something I've never seen before. How effective has this defense been for you? Well, the wound from the piercing hurts, but it's worth it. It works against most all prey. Although humans still manage to eat us, they have to use special weapons because they are afraid of our claws. I'm not really sure what happens when the claws disappear, though. I'm usually too traumatized. It ends up healing them. I understand. How can others acquire this defense? Nowadays, special surgery can be done to implant these fake claws. But over time, I suspect other frog species can evolve them too. And the good thing is that you don't need to have them all the time, just when you need defense. Wow, what an incredible talent you have. Such an empowering defense mechanism. Thanks for sharing with us, Harry. Stay tuned. Next up, we are hosting Mr. Horned Lizard, who sprays his attackers with the very blood from his eyes. You won't want to miss this one.